Hello everybody and welcome on board this 1987 Moody 31 Mark II for a look around her interior in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means that all you need to do is click and drag your screen or swipe your screen up, down, left or right, whenever you like and you can look around where you like, whenever you like. We hope that this really amazing feature will help you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Now. Some people do say they're a bit sensitive to the camera movement, so I will let you know when the camera is going to move so you can avert your eyes. And then once the camera is safely back down, I'll let you know and you can return to me and we can continue the tour together. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So, how am I feeling on board this boat? Well, she's a moody, she's 31 feet long, she's a Mark II, she's got loads of room, She her woodwork looks good, she smells good, the upholstery looks good, the, the flooring's good, so I'm feeling like I'm in a really, really nice quality yacht, although she is a little bit older, but she doesn't feel old-fashioned at all. Let's do the all-important height test first. So as we come down the companion way, we find ourselves at the bottom where I'm standing. I'm five foot nine, so this is probably about five ten, five eleven or so. Does rake down as a coach roof rakes down at the front there, but not too bad. So I think pretty good for most people. The companion way itself, easy to get down. There's lots of things to hold on to. We've got a handle here as we come down the steps. We've got uh, nice deep fiddles either side here. We have a handle here, a handle here. We've got the uh, the compression post. So as we're manoeuvring around this boat in bad weather, if we're leaning, I think we've always got something to hold on to. And it all feels solid, very moody-esque too, so I really like it. There's a, there is a, a, an access panel for the front of the engine there, which is four screws to undo, but there is an easier access panel in the, in the aft cabin, which I'll show you shortly. But we'll finish off talking about the main saloon. As we come forward, Nice and wide, although it thins past the saloon table, but not too much. And uh, as I said, we've got lots to hold on to. In the floor or the sole, we've got one, two, three, four, looks like five access points, possibly one more under here. So we can see the bilge, any bilge levels, any liquids accumulating. We can see the bilge pump suction, we can see the keel bolts, etc. All really, really well designed. I like it a lot. And. Uh, if I come and take a seat next to you, hello, uh, we can look around and we can see that we've got a port and starboard sofas. If we just peel away the back of the sofa there, we can see we've got storage behind there. Not a great amount, but enough just to hide those bottles of wine. Um, Below me here we've got lots more stowage beneath this seat, not so under the starboard seat but we do have storage behind. And then inset into the port bulkhead we've got, uh, I think it's uh, an identical setup port and starboard, we've got a nice cupboard here, probably for books etc. And we've got nice fiddled shelves here, lots lots of room in here and also feeling really solid. This one's a lot deeper as you can see and uh, they do thin slightly as they go forward as, as the bow of the uh, hull contours inwards but I'm feeling very nice here. This is really really comfortable, plenty of room and it feels like a very very nice boat too. Um, but a, <laughs> a place to enjoy yourself. The saloon table itself, you're sitting on it. As you can see I can't show you inside the wine rack in there but that's what we've got. We've got an aft one and a forward one. Brilliant. The uh, the leaves of which we have two open up and they give us a massive great big dining table there so I think we could sit quite a few people down here in relative comfort and ease. Very very nice indeed. All in all a nice space and very very well thought out. So I picked the camera up and we'll, we'll uh, carry on this tour by going forwards first so let's uh, get the forward cabin out of the way so there we go uh, and you're in so uh, the camera's safe. As you can see uh, we've got a, a nice wide, a nice long berth. The insides of the hull are lined and they look good. There's some vinyl effect and there's some carpet. Looks great. We have uh, a, a cupboard in the port aft corner there. Really nice and long actually, with the, even with the storage in the bilge inside there too. And uh, here we've got a cupboard behind this pillow here. And we've got a, a sort of bureau unit here for the makeups, the hair dryers, whatever it is you'd like to put there. Um, so all feeling good. Um, the Quite a low... Uh, headlining here but you're only going to be crouching and getting into bed or sitting here and pulling on your wellies and your foul foulies etc so I don't think too bad and we've got a nice door here bifold so it just folds about the way doesn't take up much too much room while it's open nice carpeted area so we can come in here and get changed um, bit of extra headroom uh, where the hatch is by the way and uh, we've also got the infill as well so if you want to make it this into a nice big double bed we take the infill which is just behind you place into position here hey presto nice double bed 
nice compartment, storage all the way around the periphery as well, uh, feeling like a good place to spend a weekend. And if you are, you guess what, there's storage underneath too, so you can put all your gear under there. So brilliant. So let's lift you up and we'll take you magically back through the saloon and we'll go to the navigation station first. I'll just uh, close the door to the head because we're not in there yet. And uh, as you can see, this space does form part of the main space. Nice handhold, nice wood, uh, reasonably big chart table which lifts and, and it's quite a, a deep one as well. Well, actually about two or three inches deep for storing your charts etc if you still use them which you should hopefully um, we've got uh, a, a, an array of electrics around us we've got a ray marine unit we've got a gps unit we've got uh, electrical electrical we have vhf we have stereo etc really really nice and all of the kind of things you'd expect we're forward facing too as well so some a lot of people tend to prefer that i don't really know why but you're also talking to people in the saloon if you would like to and you've got easy comms with the uh, companion way and the helm up there which is great so you can shout up to him to your heart's content underneath we've got the battery charger we've got a gas alarm we've got a, an extinguisher we've got the main uh, short supply breaker or the battery breaker sorry we've got some drawers nice seats here for the helm with storage underneath then all uh, uh, around the outboard side towards the aft part of this section we've got a nice uh, fiddled bookshelf fiddle shelf with binoculars winch handles uh, fog horns all that kind of stuff that you would normally find uh, on a boat like this well thought out and I think I can get in here and I can wedge myself in nicely so in a seaway we're going to be nicely uh, secure in here I think. Great. Right then, so now I'm going to take you through to the head's compartment and uh, let's uh, open the door there. So we're, we're just going aft and I'll just perch you on the end, edge there where I hope you won't fall off. No I won't because you will fall off, I'll put you there. There we go. Uh, head's compartment, so I'm five foot nine, uh, just touching, well actually where the hatchway is here because we've got a dedicated head's hatch, always useful, I can stand up. Um, Outboard, we're a little bit lower, so most men, and some women obviously, um, may stoop a little bit. But uh, apart from that, not too bad. We're showing a window here with the saloon. As mentioned, we've got light and air coming in through here. Uh, vinyl finish all the way around, uh, white gel coat or plastic finish around the head compartment. A manual head. We've got a hanging locker here for your wet families, etc. Storage underneath the sink, storage behind the sink, and uh, a shower head unit there on the tap too. Um, looks nice and easy to clean, nice and easy to clean. We've got a mirror in here as well. Pretty much everything you'd expect for a head compartment of this kind of boat. And also very close to the companion way as well. So if you're soaking wet and you need to go to the loo, you don't need to tread your wet fowlies all the way through the boat. So I think that's all a really good idea. So let's pick the camera up again. There we go. Close the door to the head and we'll take a visit to the galley. So here we are, welcome to the action part of the boat, if that's not out there. We've got an L-shaped galley, great access to the companionway and the helm, so they can shout at each other or pass cups of tea to each other to their heart's content. Um, again, if you're cooking in here, I think you can wedge yourself in if you need to. We've got a security bar here, um, and then just starting on the inboard side, we'll go all the way in an anti-clockwise direction around. We've got a sink inset into some work surface. We've got a drawer here. We've got a drawer here. You can, probably can't see from where you are, but they are here, I promise. Nice uh, sh cupboard here with a couple of shelves in here. We've got another shelf unit under here. Another cupboard under here for your pots and pans. Lots of stowage, which is really, really fantastic. All fiddled as well, so um, I think all the liquids are going to stay within these fiddles around the sink, unless it's too... Uh, wavy or unless you've got too much liquid in here but again we've got fiddles all the way along here so something to hang on to and something to keep the knives and the, and the chopping boards uh, here as well. Outboard we've got a nice uh, cupboard, uh, cup stowage there with all the things in to keep the cups in place which is lovely and the same goes for the, uh, the plates there if you can see and uh, we've got a similar stowage underneath there for uh, more bits and pieces there too. No there's no areas of this boat where they haven't made stowage into it, even the smallest little bilge areas underneath the beds in there and in the cupboard in there, etc., which is great. Um, inset into the work surface here, we've got a working fridge, very nice, decent size too. And we've got the gimbal cooker here, which I'll just reveal it in all its glory. There we go. We've got two burners, we've got pot pan holders, we've got a grill and we've got an oven. So really, really lovely. And once that's all finished with and cooled down, then we can put the lid back on it and we have a nice work surface there too. How good's that? 
really really nice and plenty of space as well gullies are often quite cramped and quite often gullies of this type when you're using them it precludes access to the after cabin but actually people can squeeze past you here although as you're going in here you do you would need to watch for anything cooking you could catch yourself so just something to be aware of i think very good right let's pick the camera up and take you for the final part of the tour into the after cabin there we go so here we are, we're in the starboard aft cabin, it is the only aft cabin, and uh, how does it feel? Well, I stand up and I've got uh, full head height there, but obviously it drops here, where we've got the um, the, the cockpit moulding here, which does protrude down. Now, this, for the average person, I'd say there's plenty of room to lie down here underneath, but uh, I think there is a possibility of sitting up with your back here uh, with a book just in front of you. Um, but uh, as we get to the outboard side, it does open up a little bit better and it does feel a little bit more wide and uh, open. The, the, the light colours of the, uh, of the inside of the hull, the deck head, etc., do uh, take away hopefully any feelings of claustrophobia in here. Uh, generally speaking, I'd say it's an average aft cabin, nice long bed, nice and wide. We have an infill here, batteries are stored underneath there, and there is more stowage as well. And we also have three nice hanging lockers here. Sorry, these are hanging lockers here, and this one's shelved out, and we've got more shelves on the outboard side as well. So, perfectly adequate for a weekend. And uh, once you're in, we've got this nice carpeted area so we can sit down and again. Uh, get our wellies on and off in relative ease so all pretty good and the last thing to mention is just behind this cushion we've got access to the top and the reverse of the engine and also the uh, the gearbox shaft line etc etc so we're really rather handy and probably the one you'd want to use to be checking your engine at sea so you don't put the companion weight out of action when you're doing your checks little tip from me great let's pick the camera up then for the last time take you back to the saloon and we'll sum up by saying that uh, I'm very flattered that you joined me, Tim from Boucher Drop Brokers, on board this Moody 31 Mark II from 1987 for a look around her interior, how the space flows, how she might work for you, and generally what kind of boat she is. Thanks for watching, take care, and do look out for more reviews. They're always coming at you. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye.